Today, I'm going to show you the major signs of anemia as well as you know what this condition really is. Now, before I begin, uh, down below, I'm giving away a free uh, video based guide all about uh, dietary supplements as, as well as uh, herbal medicines. Now, one of the most uh, important parts in the human body is, is the blood. This is why if the, if the heart stops working, it doesn't pump the blood to where it needs to go, or possibly if somebody loses too much blood, they will cease to exist because it's that important. Now, what gives uh, blood its like, reddish color? enables it to carry oxygen it is something called red blood cells. If for some reason a person doesn't have enough of these red blood cells in their body then this is known as anemia. Now since oxygen uh, doesn't reach all the uh, you know the tissues and organs that, that need the oxygen I mean, what do you can you guess what symptom this may cause or effect? I'll give you a hint, hint. think of like a hot afternoon yawning yeah fatigue Constant fatigue is a, actually a really common sign of anemia because your organs and tissues aren't getting the, the nutrients it needs, so it doesn't work as effectively. Next is the body tries to get more oxygen. Uh, what do you think is going to happen to someone's breathing? A person may be uh, breathing, um, but they may feel like they're not getting enough oxygen or maybe having trouble breathing, and this is what's known as shortness of breath. Uh, someone could also feel like uh, like tightness in their chest, almost like they're suffocating. Now, the human body really is a, is a pretty fascinating thing. I mean, it is. We're still finding all kinds of crazy stuff about how the brain works and stuff. We're still making discoveries. And uh, well, th what happens is the brain realizes that, hey, you know, the body is not getting enough oxygen. So it sends this message down to the, the heart going, hey, you need to work a little harder there. Buddy, because you know we're not uh, the, we need more oxygen so what happens is the heart starts to beat harder and faster you know pumping more blood to all these organs hopefully to get more oxygen into them and that's why another um, sign of anemia would be like a rapid heartbeat that's why that happens and uh, speaking of the brain it also needs oxygen too yeah and can you guess what happens if it doesn't get enough of it yeah someone's not going to have trouble concentrating not going to be thinking clearly, uh, it could be a headache, uh, possibly feeling a little bit dizzy, almost like they're intoxicated maybe. Uh, since uh, anemia is a, well, is a lack of uh, red blood cells, and these cells give blood that reddish color, another sign would be like someone's skin may look pale, or almost like a, like a vampire, palish, whitish color because it's not getting that reddish um, so that, that could be another sign. And lastly, there could be some leg cramping or some restless leg syndrome. If you have no idea what, that, what restless leg syndrome is, or RLS for short, uh, basically it's when someone feels like they, they, they want to move their legs or they have to move it. And uh, this can be kind of annoying, especially when someone's trying to go to sleep and they feel like they got to move their legs constantly. That's what that is. Now the reason uh, for this is, is the same reason someone might get a cramp when they're when they're running. It's because the leg isn't getting enough uh, oxygen that it needs. And that's why. Now, if you're wondering how in the heck does someone get this whole anemia thing, there's a variety of different ways. Um, but a big a big one is that someone's not getting the nutrients they need, like iron and possibly vitamin vitamin C. So a great idea to prevent this whole problem from happening in the first place is to ensure you're getting all these vitamins. And you could do it through food. Of course, um, the truth is that the, when it comes to farming, especially in America, there's a thing called soil depletion. What that means is, well, farmers are in business to kind of make money, feed their family, right? And so they use these chemicals to grow their crops bigger and faster, fight off bugs, which helps them make money, but it also kind of depletes some of the vitamins and nutrients. Um, so. In a nutshell, our, our, our crops, we don't get the vitamins from our crops like we used to hundreds of years ago. So because of this, a great idea would be to take a quality multivitamin supplement that could really help somebody. And if you're interested in, in supplements, like I mentioned, uh, I do highly encourage you to check out this free video guide report I created all about this topic. It goes over you know, some great ideas on what to look for when shopping for supplements. It goes over things like uh, ingredients that are harmful that you might want to know about. And a lot of people don't know about this stuff. Um, so that's some great tips there, plus a lot of more fun, interesting, cool things that can help you, save you some money. Kind of, you, I know you're going to love it. And if you want a little more, just click on the link below the video. Okay. Uh, anyways, uh, I really appreciate uh, well, 
you click on this video and give me your time. Uh, please leave a comment with any thoughts you may have on anemia. You know, have you experienced this before? What are some ideas on maybe preventing it or, or you know, uh, treating it? Please share in the comment section. And if you like the video, uh, I would appreciate a thumbs up. Uh, that helps me. So I would appreciate that. And have a very uh, enjoyable rest of your day. Bye.